Hi, I'm Agent Bennett, and today I'll show you how to adjust the picture settings on your TV. This can vary by make and model, so to give you a better understanding, I'll be using the Frame 55-inch from Samsung. Again, the settings and terminology often differ depending on the make and model, so the process might be slightly different with your unit. All right, let's get started. First, complete this process during the time of day when you most often watch. And along the same lines, adjust the lights or curtains to the levels you usually have while watching. That way, you're adjusting the screen based on the most common use. Then, find a piece of content that you're familiar with, something you've watched a few times. Then, find a scene that's bright. The more colors, the better. Next, go into the settings and look for the mode. Often, if the TV is new, it'll be in vivid or dynamic mode. This usually maxes out the light output of the TV and increases the saturation of colors on the screen to make it more appealing for short-term viewing. However, it might not be the best setting for your regular long-term use. Change the picture mode from vivid to standard, and you'll notice that the intensity of the image changes. Your first reaction might be that it's too dark. This is common, and that's because you've been watching it in a much brighter mode. However, what you might not notice is that watching a bright, vibrant image is having a negative impact on your viewing experience. Lowering the brightness, although less appealing immediately, might reduce the strain on your eyes, thus allowing you to enjoy the content more. Then try another mode like movie or cinema. These are usually the best modes for seeing the most detail, just as the director intended. Choose the mode that you like the most, and remember you can always go back and adjust again if you change your mind. Selecting a mode is a great starting point. Now let's go into some deeper settings to really dial in the picture to your liking. Start with the motion setting. Manufacturers have different names for this setting, like Motion Plus, Motion Flow, True Motion, or Blur and Judder Reduction. So again, yours might look different than what I have here. This setting is often enabled by default. It looks for gaps in the video and fills them with information that it thinks should be there. This can cause what most people call the soap opera effect, which means the video looks unnatural. Go ahead and play a scene while you adjust the setting. Notice how objects and people move on the screen. You should be able to see a difference. I prefer to keep the setting off, allowing the video to play naturally. However, adjust until you're happy with the movement. Next, we'll look at sharpness or edge enhancement. Most people assume that more is better, so they turn this level all the way up, wanting a clear, focused image. However, when it's set too high, the TV will often deliver the opposite. It can create a white line or halo around the subject. As with most settings, it's less about the number and more about the overall image. So simply adjust this setting until it feels accurate to you. The next setting to review is focused on power. It's called Power Saving or APS. This feature often compromises image quality in exchange for power saving. So if your focus is on getting the best picture possible, I recommend turning it off. However, if you want to reduce the power usage of the TV, then consider turning it on. Along the same lines, your TV might have a setting that automatically adjusts the output of the light from the TV using a sensor in the TV. This is often called ambient light detection. If you have this enabled, you might notice the brightness of your TV changing if someone walks in front of the sensor or if the room gets darker because of a cloud that passes overhead in the sky and causes less light to come through a nearby window. Because I'm trying to get the most accurate looking picture, I recommend turning this off. Now let's look at color temperature. You might have options for warm or cool. Cool leans towards a color palette with a blue tint, and warm leans heavier on red. Cool will tend to make things appear brighter, as we often interpret blue as bright. Warm will seem a bit darker but more natural, like how things look in the real world. Pull up a scene in your content that has lighting from the sunlight, and another scene that's lit by lamps. Adjust the temperature until you find what looks more natural. You're trying to find the right balance between warm and cool. So those are the main adjustments when it comes to calibrating the image on your TV. It's important that you adjust and step away. When you return, you might feel differently about the image. Stepping away allows your eyes to reset, putting you in a better position to see the image accurately. After doing this a few times, you'll eventually land on an image that's pleasing, putting you in a good position to enjoy your content more consistently. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.